Welcome, real NASCAR fans. Hey, welcome to the jungle. Bristol International Speedway. Bristol, Tennessee. Woo! Hey, Bristol's been called a lot of things. Called the bull ring, gladiator ring, what have you. I call it the jungle. By golly. You know, you, you got your gazelles. So fast. So nimble. You got that handling down. And then, and then you got these big old rhinoceroses that's just barreling through. Don't have the handling. By God, they're going to knock you out of the way. And, and then you got the little alligators that kind of slow, like Michael Waltrip and Sam Hornish. And sometimes Juan Pablo Montoya. Sorry, sis. And then, and then you look up and you got the big elephants in the stands drinking beer. Ha! <laughs> but here we go to the jungle. Bristol, Tennessee. Point five three three concrete oval. And what you got is a 36 degree banking used to be in the turns, but have gone to gradual banking. What you got, uh, 24 degree to 30 degree banking there now. Uh, so it, it's a lot of three, you can do three wide racing, I'm going to show you. Uh, 16 degree banking on a straight stretch in the front and in the back, which measures 650 uh, feet in length. You got Larry Carrier, Carmoral. They decided in 1960 they go go down and see him a race in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they they liked it so much they uh, they came back to uh, right outside Bristol, Tennessee there, and uh, built them a smaller version, which is just an oval. They just wanted a little short track, and uh, and the rest is history really. So uh, built up, built up, changed hands, sold, blah blah blah. And in 1997, uh, after their little uh, Refurbishing there, it, it, the seating grew to 116,000. It made it one of the largest uh, sporting venues in Tennessee and close to one of the largest in the country. And come now, 2008, those bad boys are seating 160,000. That's probably the largest sporting venue in the nation, let alone Tennessee. Alright? So, uh, one thing you got to watch. Good little race scenario here. Uh, uh, the starting grid. You got 43 cars entered in the race. And you imagine those 43 cars wrapped around, high banked oval, just uh, .533 miles in length. And you're looking at the back of the pack, those cats that uh, qualify pretty poorly, they're already half lapped down by the time the green flag falls. And another uh, uh, difference we have here at Bristol is the, uh, is the pit road. Uh, back in the day, before 2002, when they changed the rule, uh, they used to have the slower uh, cars pit on the back stretch, faster cars pit on the front stretch. Uh, 2002, they changed that rule. Uh, during yellow flag pit stops, under caution, okay, these cats must enter pit road and turn two, drive all the way down the back stretch, unless they're pitting on the back stretch. And you just pull in, get your pit stop done, and keep on going, and go through three and four, and all the way down the front stretch. And you exit the pit road and turn one. That's under caution, okay? And this rule eliminated the disadvantage of pitting on the back stretch. You know, I mean, if you, if you qualify poorly, I mean, you're pretty much sunk there back in the day. But uh, pitting under green, there are the different rules. If pitting on the back stretch, you enter at turn two, exit turn three. If you're pitting on the front stretch, you enter turn four, exit turn one. So, uh, Jeff Gordon paid the price when he got all discombobulated and confused there a couple years ago. And uh, he uh, got all confused during a, uh, I think, a green flag pit stop and uh, entered, he was on the front stretch, he entered for the back stretch, had to go all the way around under pit road speed, which is 35 miles an hour. So, uh, what we're going to do here is Take you through that real NASCAR fan hot lap around Bristol. We'll show the exit as of uh, turn one and get all wound up. Go a couple laps and uh, get back in the pits there. Uh, I believe going into, uh, whew, shoot, man, I don't even know. You just, you just watch and find out, all right? Stand by.
going to roll you on closer here to the tube. Oh my, 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 my. Look at that car. Looking beautiful sitting there on pit lane, in it? Alright, we get as close as possible. So we'll dim the light. Get a little romantic here. Bristol Motor Speedway. Woo woo, chicka chicka pow wow. Nazzy Louie. That went for you. No one back. Come on. Come on, quit reading stuff into this. Alright, here we go for the hot lap area. I'm sitting in the pit. Alrighty, here we go. Scrub them tires, pull the belt tight. We rolling out on the track. Got turn one right there. You got to blend in over here out of turn two. You're going to see a lot of action that's happening right there. If you're seeing green flash hit stop, I'll see you that later. Alright, here we get wound up. We're now turn four. We're going to take a check. It's right here. Woo! All right, what you can do is brake hard, get down, ride the bottom, ride the bottom, gas it off, gas it off. Watch a slippery right there, ride her out to the wall, brake real hard, ride her down low, drift in, gas off. Watch out, it's really slippery. You lose the back end so quick right there, and I'll show you that too. All right, it's a lot of braking, a lot of drifting, a lot of getting in it. Uh, if you want to set your brakes, ride the high line. You got a high line to ride now with that gradual banking. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to take the pits right here. I know this uh, this ride along has been pretty quick. Here we go in the pits. Lock them up. Get on the pit road speed, 35 mile an hour. That's it. You ride along with Bristol. Hope you didn't blink. If you did, you probably missed it. All right. Hey, be checking for the race scenarios uh, in, in a different clip. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And until next time, God bless. See you at the race. <laughs> Thanks for having